I'm Tatiana. In today's video, I wanted to share with you guys what we got at the FPEA convention. And if you like to see that, stay tuned. So we just got back from the Florida convention at Orlando and we got a lot of goodies. So I wanted to share with you um, just in case some of these things you may not be aware of. I know I wasn't, so I wanted to share those with you. So let's jump right to it. So last year, towards the end of our convention, I noticed that um, there was something that caught my eye and I was really excited about, but we didn't plan on purchasing this and this was a big investment. So we did not purchase this last year. So this year going into the convention, I knew this was one of the first things I wanted to purchase. And that was the uh, animated stories from the Bible. I really like this. I basically remember it from my own childhood and so does my husband so this is definitely not cheap and you definitely need to you know be prepared to spend a lot on this but I highly suggest that my kids love it we enjoy it we have friends that come over and they love it so basically we went ahead and I bought the whole set we bought the New Testament, Old Testament, and also we got the Animated Hero Classics, which were really nice. And you basically have the DVDs. So they come like this. So they come in a big box of DVDs. And, and then you also have, I believe, downloads um, that you can do. Um, yeah, you can download some worksheets and activities and also in each DVD towards the end you have the option of playing a few games, I believe. Or not games, you have a few questions, comprehension questions basically. So I really love this, so we got the whole set. So my kids love art. They, last year we used the sunspots, I believe. I hope I'm saying that correctly. If not, I'll put it right in. But um, this year I wanted to do something more advanced so they can have a little bit more advanced art or art classes. And we saw this at the convention. And we went ahead and we signed up to get the entire um, set. So basically, these are all the art activities that they will be doing, which includes painting, drawing, um, clay, and all these other things. So basically, there's five levels. We got um, the membership for the year, and we will be enjoying doing this. So another thing I was looking at the convention was to find some additional help to build fluency and recognition in math. So my kids, they get the concept of math, they can move on, but they're just not doing their work as quickly because they don't have their facts memorized. So I was looking for a program that could help kids um, basically with math, flat, math, math facts, <laughs> excuse me. So I went ahead and I saw this, actually my friend did, and she showed me this, and it's rapid recall um, system. And I was really excited to find this. It's the addition, they also have subtraction, multiplication, and division. Basically the program works that the child hears the math facts and then they see the facts and also they say them and then they write them. After doing this multiple times, they should master the math facts. And when we got home, this was one of the first things my daughter uh, started doing. And within just two days, I've noticed how quickly she started memorizing her math facts. So I definitely am excited that I got this. 
and if your child is struggling with math facts, I would highly suggest this. I was so excited when I found this. And this is the Frog Math Power. I am always looking for any kind of board games or any computer games or anything that can make learning fun. And because my kids math, sometimes they're just not, that's not their best subject. And when I found this, I was excited about it. So let me show you what it is. Basically, it's a board game. Um, it comes with 10 boards. Your child can choose any kind. And you can play whichever you choose. And then it comes with these little pouches. And for instance, this one says story problem. So basically it looks like this. And when they answer the question, let's see, is this focusing? There you go. Um, so when they answer this question in the back, if they get it correct, that's the answer, um, they would move two spots on the board. And then again, they would pick another one. And if they got it correct, this one, they would move three slots. So that one's the story uh, problems. And then they have place values, which looks like this. And if they get it correct, that's how it looks like. So there's lots of um, different problems that they could be doing. They have basic facts, um, adding and subtracting, adding three numbers, words about math, sequencing and skip counting, uh, Roman numerals, um, compound, shapes, segments and angles, multiplication facts, more multiplication, uh, story problems. So basically there's 25 little pouches that you can choose any. You can mix and match. You can have your child master one and the ones that they did not, they need basically more practice with. You would take those cards and you would just add it to this one. You go on and they would still practice this one. And also one of the really nice things is this is level C. They have different grades and you can have all your kids, uh, it doesn't matter what grade level they are, you would buy one based on which grade level they are and they can all play together. So I thought this was really nice and I was excited finding this. So one of the days at the convention, we were walking by this one booth and there was a line. It was like the longest line that I've seen um, at the convention. And I was just curious, why is there so many kids in here and everybody's just like all excited? And I'm like, okay, I wanna see what all the excitement's about. So we went ahead and we saw it. it's basically the Perfect Praise Publishing and they have the little book series. So I was so curious on knowing what these books were all about. Um, because I didn't do any of my research, we went ahead and we just purchased one of their um, audios and we got the first one. Ooh, the lighting, there you go. We got their first one. And actually on the way home, we listened to this and we loved it. We, I mean, it took us two days to listen to this and we're done with it. And we already want the whole series. So basically I'll be ordering um, the rest of them because kids really liked it. Now I would say it's not for young kids. My boys did not understand as much as my daughter did. So you would have to, I would say it's more age appropriate eight and up. Um, 
but again it depends on each child so we came across a booth and it had a lot of board games and one of them was this commissioned uh, board game um, my husband saw this and he was really interested what the board game was about so basically it's the 12 apostles and you have to you're not playing against anybody um, you're just playing as a team and I don't know exactly how to play it I know that there's a YouTube um, instruction on how to play this and we're gonna be looking this up but we are really excited um, to play this now this I believe is for ages 14 and up as long as you have somebody um, that is 14 or up playing with your kids you can younger kids can join and play with you so we're excited about trying this game out and if we like it there's more uh, games that we are interested in purchasing in the future so and this is by Chara Games I don't know um, right there so that's something so another little booth we stopped by was the game that makes you move and this is a fit game that you can play with your child um, it's from ages six to adults and it's a family game basically you have a large mat um, that you roll a dice and whatever it lands on um, you do that activity so either twirl or hop on one foot or do jumpy jacks basically it's like a nice mini gym activity that you can do either outside or indoors and this is also a really nice activity for kids to do with their friends so it's really nice and um, game play time is about 10 to 30 minutes so the last thing we got at the convention was BJU curriculum for my daughter, uh, which I'll be sharing that in another video. And if you'd like to see that, go ahead and subscribe. So that's pretty much everything. Um, we just can't wait to get started playing some of these games and some of them I would need to reorder because we're already done with some of them. Um, but I hope that you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you on my next video. Bye.